So what difference can a weekly dinner make? Well, a lot if you ask this week's Bay Area Jefferson Award winners. Sharon Chin introduces us to a pair who's serving up a safe haven for those who need it the most. Hey, Sharon. Yeah, Ryan and Sarah, Clyde Betha Jr. and Sister Jeanette Braun bring their coastal community together, creating a space at the table. We're going to triple rinse all of the corned beef. From the dinner menu to the decorations. I think they look pretty good. Sister Jeanette Braun. Tyler Betha, seven. And her all-volunteer team address every detail to make sure every guest feels loved. By that warm welcome of each guest, that gesture of hospitality, we affirm the dignity of each person. The weekly supper started in 2012 when winemaker Clyde Beffa Jr. wanted to create a sense of community among members of his church. The founder and co-owner of K&L Wine Merchants also wanted to do something to honor his late mother. So he talked it over with his priest, Father Charlie Formeglia of Our Lady of the Pillar Parish. And we'll do a wine tasting uh, and we'll try to bring all these people together and it might be a, you know, a fun event. That event turned into an annual fundraiser that was sustained a brand new nonprofit, the men called Table of Plenty. Sister Jeanette Braun, a sister of Notre Dame de la Mur, became its founding director. She organizes the free Thursday night suppers at the senior coastsiders for those without homes, senior citizens, farm workers, and struggling families. They have this conversation together and the companionship and then we create community. About 150 guests, like those who came on St. Patrick's Day, feel a sense of belonging. At first, it was maybe the homeless were in one spot and, and, the, and the farm families were in another, but they're just mixing more. They form friendships and sometimes even more. One thing led to another. Jill Ledbetter and James Gorman fell in love at Table of Plenty and now they're married. You don't expect something like this to happen at our age, but I'm so grateful it has because it's a whole new lease on life. High school volunteers like senior Rocio Montalongo learn confidence and the value of kindness. I see like how like much joy it brings to everybody and it's just like something I would like to keep doing. Longtime volunteer Debbie Kennedy says what Clyde and sister Jeanette have cooked up feels like family. When you came here, you learned what it meant to love one another. I would describe the table of plenty as a labor of love. So for setting a table of plenty that builds community on the San Mateo County coast, this week's Jefferson Award in the Bay Area goes to Sister Jeanette Braun and Clyde Betha Jr. Half the nearly 100 volunteers are high school students and Sister trains them on how to be hospitable, to be good greeters. The top volunteer wins a $1,000 scholarship and Clyde and his family, down to his grandchildren, also volunteer often. Ryan. Sharon, it's amazing how a, a simple meal can bring someone so much dignity. Yes, right. good stuff. Thank you, Sharon. Well, if you know someone who's done exceptional service in our community, nominate them for a Jefferson Award. The form is on our website, kpx.com hero. And please make sure to provide details of your nominee's service.